If you're looking for a recipe to help you use up some leftover pumpkin puree, these healthy pumpkin bars are for you. This recipe requires no flour or oil, so it's naturally gluten-free, and these flourless pumpkin bars turn out perfectly fluffy and delicious every time. To get started, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In a large bowl, combine a half cup of pumpkin puree, a half cup of almond butter, or you can use cashew butter for a similar mild flavor, a third cup of honey, two large eggs, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of baking soda. Stir that together until the batter looks smooth. Add in one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and stir again. This will react with the baking soda to help the pumpkin bars rise. Prepare an eight inch square baking dish by lightly spraying it with oil then press a piece of parchment paper into the bottom of the pan. The oil will hold the parchment paper in place as you add in the batter. Bake until the bars rise and are firm in the center about 35 to 40 minutes. While the pumpkin bars are baking, you can prepare a batch of maple pecan glaze if you'd like an extra decadent topping. In a blender, combine three quarters of a cup of pecans, a quarter cup of maple syrup, two tablespoons of melted coconut oil, a quarter cup of water, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. Blend that all together until it's very smooth and creamy and stop to scrape down the sides of the blender as needed. You can add an extra tablespoon of water to make the consistency as runny as you'd like it to be. Set that glaze aside so you can add it to the pumpkin bars later. When the timer goes off, remove the bars from the oven and let them cool completely. Once the bars are cool, slice them into nine squares. Then serve them on their own or with that optional maple pecan glaze and a few chopped pecans on top. You can store these pumpkin bars in an airtight container in the fridge for up to a week. And I like to store the glaze separately so the bars won't get too messy. I hope you'll enjoy these gluten-free pumpkin bars soon. And be sure to check out my other videos here for more fast and easy real food recipes.